Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's uh, Monday, July 8th, 2013, and this is my week 168 post op update. So, uh, I'm a little sleepy, just woke up, uh, so bear with me while I try to wake up. Um, let's start with the numbers. I weighed this morning and I was whopping 225 even, which is a uh, Gain a half a pound this week, which is not ever a good thing, but um, fitness hasn't been where I want it to be. Uh, I talked a little bit last week about my uh, foot. I found out my foot was broken. Um, and I want to thank all you guys for all the wonderful suggestions, but uh, I'll show you real quick. Where my fracture is, is right here on the ball of my foot. I'm saying, Ben, do you see this joint? It's just south of this joint. So I know guys have been messaging me, telling me to tape my toes together and, and, and all these things and all these devices. And really the only thing that's going to work for me is to wear that boot. Um... Which I probably should be doing, but uh, I'm not. Um, it doesn't hurt. It just hurts when I train, which sucks. But uh, I'm still walking. It's just not enough, so I'm going to try to make sure to get some more walking time in this week. Um, but the good news is, is it appears that my water and nutrition has been pretty spot on. If I only went up half a pound for the week. Um... Getting settled in. We're getting ready to open the new field. Um, in two weeks, we get the keys today, actually. So my week is going to be full of fun and stress. So I need to make sure that I schedule some me time. Um, I'm going to be talking to my uh, potential second employer. Uh, I can't really say anything just yet. I'm really excited about it. Uh, but I've been kind of waiting for my life to settle a little bit before I, um, before I actually bring more stress into my life. But it's going to be a really good opportunity for me. And when you guys hear about it, oh my god, it's going to be awesome. God, it's going to be awesome. Um, I need to do that. I'm going to do that today. I think I'm going to email them today. Anyway, um... You know, I don't really have a lot to talk about this week. Things for me have been just go, 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 work, work, work. I, you know, we're open five days a week, and on the two days that I'm off, I'm at work. In fact, that's where I'm going when I'm through shooting this. Uh, it, it's just a lot of work, you know. I, I took over, almost completely took over a business, and... I'm having to learn, you know, I'm building relationships with vendors, I'm having to do contracts for paint for both fields in the next year, and it's all this stuff is just, it's almost overwhelming, but the one thing that I've come to, to start to understand, and the one thing that's kind of got me excited about this, and probably the one thing that nobody else sees, is that running a paintball field is a lot like running a restaurant um you know it's it's a business <clears throat> pardon me it's a business where your profit is very marginal margin marginal blah, i english well your profit's very marginal um it's a very customer service oriented business you have employees who are trying to screw you 24 7 uh your inventory is very expensive and your labor is the key to making or breaking your bottom line for the week. And that's a lot like the restaurant business. And when I started to analyze it and really look at the business processes and how we do things, the only real difference between a restaurant and a paintball field is what's on the menu. You know, in a restaurant, we have food on the menu. In a paintball field, we have paint packages on the menu. You know, we still do private events. We still have pissy customers that want to be pampered and they try to get things for free. You still have employees that are stealing from you, trying to steal from you left and right, whether it be inventory or hours or whatever. And you, know, you still have a bottom line to make every day and every week and sales reports to do and things to order and things to rotate. It's, it, 
they're a lot a lot alike. So I see this kind of like a challenge. If I can do this successfully, then there's no way that I can't run a restaurant. You know, I, I, and it's uh. So I, I'm starting to see this as more of a challenge um, than just something that I'm doing for my buddy, which is good. I need a little motivation right now. Um, managed to get a little bit of a social life this week for an hour or two. Went out and saw some friends, watched an 80s cover band, uh, which, believe it or not, is very important to me right now. I need some me time. Um... You know, that's that's really it. There's not a whole lot to talk about. Other than gaining half a pound this week. Uh, did a really cool video on uh, Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works today about summertime foods. Talked a little bit about some of my favorite summertime foods. So you should go check that out. That's uh, If you don't follow the Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works channel, it's something you should check out. It's uh, YouTube slash Proof Weight Loss Surgery. WLS Works. All one word. Proof WLS Works. Um, and I, I vlog on there on Mondays, so that's, uh, another opportunity to catch B, and we also have some really good contributors to that channel, too, uh, we all give our topics on the same, our opinions on the same topic every once a week, so it's definitely something you want to check out. Um, I don't know if I'm half awake or if I'm rambling right now, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this one short, guys, but... I will talk to you again on Monday. Um, I guess we can recap real quick. My really, real only real goal this week is to uh, to really work on getting getting my routine finalized. Talk to this new employer and to uh, to get out and walk some more. Uh, maybe I'll pick up a bicycle because I gotta get some fitness in. I really do. This is not not good for me right now, and I'm looking at at least four more weeks of this before I think my foot's gonna be to the point where I can start training really hard again. So anyway, uh, that's all I got, guys. Make sure you thumbs up, don't thumbs down. Subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, I'll catch you guys next week. Take care.